This is Kathy DeBoer, Executive Director at the American Volleyball Coaches Association. This recruiting tip of the week is brought to you by the Ohio Valley Region, an affiliate partner of the American Volleyball Coaches Association. Lots of people have advice on picking a school that is right for you. In December, Lauren Carlini, who is currently playing professionally in Turkey and is one of the setters on the USA national team, spoke to the players in the ABCA Phenom College prep program. The biggest question that I would ask is, would you still feel comfortable going to this college? Would you still be happy at this college or university if you were to get injured and not be able to play volleyball there anymore? I think that's so important because yes, volleyball is great and dandy, but you still have to go to school. You still have to surround yourself with people who you are gonna feel comfortable around. Education wise, it's so important to find somewhere that either has your major or something you're interested in, and you may change your mind a million times, but giving yourself the chances and opportunities to be able to do that, I think is key. This is how Lauren advises prospects to manage the recruiting process. Make a list of what your maybe top five things that it must check the boxes on. Um, do they have to have this major be journalism? Do they have journalism? Um, how far is it away from home? Just make a list of factors that you need to check four of these five boxes in order for it to work for you. And I'd say if you go on a visit, making sure that it feels comfortable and it feels like the right fit to you. Don't do it because someone else is telling you to or you're feeling forced into a situation. You're the one going there. Uh, you have to do what's best for you and your future. Lauren isn't tone deaf to the challenges of the pandemic. Her goal of making the Tokyo Olympic team is still up in the air, just like prospects' choice of where they will go to school and dealing with the dead period. So what should players do? It's tough, right? Like this is totally unprecedented. And so we're all just kind of trying to navigate the best we can because no one really knows what the right answer is. So I would say the first thing is, I think it starts with you and saying, okay, when this dead period ends, what are my priorities? What do I need to get done? Who do I want to reach out to? I think you can use this time to be really, it can be beneficial. Research a little bit more about the schools you're interested in. Um, try and figure out what kind of program you want to be a part of. Start making these lists. Be active in that respect since you can't be on campus and interact. So yeah, I guess make a list of priorities and be active with that. Just try and stay positive, okay? Just know that no one else is getting ahead of you right now. We're all in the same spot. We're all in this dead halt right now. So don't feel like, oh, I'm falling behind because everyone else is in the same exact boat as you right now, and that's totally okay. Um, so yeah, don't freak out, don't panic, because come April, everything's hopefully, fingers crossed, gonna open up again. These communication lines are gonna be open, and just be ready to have those conversations and kind of reflect on the past few months. I think when college coaches hear your stories and what you've been doing the past, whatever it is, six to 12 months, if you can inspire them and show them that, hey, I've been working through and grinding through this time, um, they're gonna see that as a really strong showing of your character. So important to just stay with it and stay positive and keep looking forward. And that is our recruiting tip of the week. Thanks for your membership in the Ohio Valley region.